Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 4 Golden. Last part, uh, I think we fought off with Shadow Yosuke, and if I do say so myself, we we kicked his ass. So, pats on the back for us. Uh, I also think that we saw Yukiko on the TV, but it's probably not in this, you know, it's what they normally do here, so nothing catches our eye, and we're done being fat asses, apparently. So, we're gonna go upstairs and... It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. You should go back to your room and check the TV. Sure. Got nothing better to do. It's raining tonight. I think we've already established that game. Will something appear on TV? This man's thought process is kind of getting... <laughs> it gets to me sometimes, I'm not going to lie. Meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Thanks, Miss Weather Announcer Lady. Oh, shit! The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. A silhouette appeared. It seems to be a woman. Looks like she's wearing a kimono. Mm. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Oh my god. You see, this, this shit here is why people make fun of this game. And when people do, I can't say shit. <laughs> oh no. What would happen if you touched the image on the Midnight Channel? Would you be able to touch the person on screen? Whoop! Aww. The image disappeared. Damn. Oh well. You should speak to Yosuke and the others about this tomorrow. Hmm. You decided to go to bed for tonight. You had hoped that you would try to touch the woman on the other side of the screen, but to no avail fucking pervert. Oh shit! This is... Well, Hello. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. Oh, well, that, that's always nice to know, but uh... Why would I dream about an old man with a very long nose and then a very attractive woman? Well, I mean, I can understand the very attractive woman. But you? Nah, bruh. Nah. I have summoned you within your dreams. Oh. Seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room, even though he just told us that. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. You know what? I, after listening to the new Margaret's voice for such a long time, through getting my ass beat, consistently in persona by her and then persona q uh this voice right here seems kind of i don't know i mean i really do enjoy this voice but you know the new one is just so i don't know i don't know i don't know where i'm going with this in your daily life you subconsciously heard the call to awaken and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power what what power are we exactly talking about? I, I I haven't gotten an explanation for that yet. Hold on to this. Gimme that, whatever that was. Oh, the velvet key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that you will inevitably require our help. Cool. There is but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. You know, uh, I kind of like how they did, they, uh, did this for Persona 3 a bit better because you actually signed a contract and some... But then, then again, that's confusing because uh, Igor didn't really get it but some other person got it so I don't 
I, I don't get that, but it, it makes more sense than what's going on here because I didn't really make a contract, more like a promise. But I guess, you know, it's the same thing, so. I understand. Not really. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. And that's that's a, that's a quote right there. That's basically what persona means. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. You know, uh, with this whole wild card business, really everyone should have something like this because not everyone has like a set personality. You know, I'm not saying that everyone's like schizophrenic or whatever, but you know, everyone has multiple sides to them. So the uh, the whole Persona One and Persona Two things, like everybody was technically a wild card. I don't know why they suddenly just got rid of that in Persona Three and Persona Four. But I guess it makes the main character more special, unlike the main character from Double Survivor 2. I don't understand like why he's the main character at all. Zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. But that's an entirely different game, and we're not playing that right now. So, uh, empty. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Hmm. Control one's heart? Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Great, because that makes sense. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but they said social links like what? Almost 10 times. I think like a little over five, but they're pretty important in this game. And half of this game is you developing social links, so it's understandable. And a part of the reason why people really like Persona 3 and Persona 4, the whole like uh, dating sim aspect, because that's big. That's basically what uh, social links are. Yo, what's up? You saw what was on last night, right? Yeah, th there was a woman, and I tried to touch her, but then the TV was like, LOL, no. I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. Okay. It turns out someone was thrown in again. There really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit. No matter what it of takes. course, we made a promise after all. For There's some no reason, that excited me. Do it. Who believed that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Uh, <laughs> you do it. Uh, I want to keep my word too. Totally, a promise a is a promise, promise is definitely a promise. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did. Actually worked since uh, I guess because you guys came in contact with me you can also stick your hands and other various objects into the TV that's great I guess I think I can do that now because I have the same power or that persona, you, because it? you have a persona could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case that could be a reason and again you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. True. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Aww. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. And you can 
can honestly see that throughout that entire speech he just gave, which is, which is nice. You sense a fate stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. And I hope you like hearing this music in this uh, transition because it's going to be happening a lot throughout this entire game because this is what happens when you first form a social link. And of course we would have a social link with uh, Yosuke since this is technically the first person that we met while, well, you know, beside uh, our family. As you form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthen. You recall Igor's words. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. I'm just noticing that I'm still holding hands with this man and people are walking by. This is getting kinda kinda awkward. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. Uh. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links? Is this bond with Yosuke what Igor was talking about? I'm sorry, I could barely read that. Hmm. You have established a Yosuke Hanamura social link of the magician Arcana. Arcana. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it's actually pronounced Arcana. I think. I need to look that up before, uh... Uh, this video is over. Yosuke's determination in battle has been enhanced. Yosuke can now wake up a knockdown ally during battle. Okay, this is one of the uh, differences between uh, the original Persona 4 and then this. Uh, in the original Persona 4, <laughs> when you first meet somebody, they are willing to take a mortal blow for you. And with this game, they kind of changed that up a little bit because doing that is a little weird. I mean, if I just met someone, I'm not gonna, you know, give myself, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna die for you, basically, and that's what the original Persona 4 did, and then when Golden was made, they were like, you know what, that shit doesn't make any sense, so like, we're just gonna give you this. Your ally may help someone who is knocked down get back on their feet, so if somebody ends up dizzy on the ground, they can just, you know, get them back up, like what the game just said. Get your dick beater off of me. Oh shit! A uh, cheer. Um, about yesterday. We're sorry we worried. Wait, who are you looking for? You keep looking around. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not uh, here? Uh, I haven't seen her. Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least I haven't seen her today. Oh man. What should I do? Hey. Is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Yeah, it's most likely the case. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. Yeah, it was pretty obvious that it was Yukiko, but you know, my the MC's tiny little brain apparently can't, can't comprehend that, so... <laughs> For some reason, it surprised Yosuke too. Like the one she Guess he's not the sharpest tool in the shed. That interview a few days Either. ago too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening though, and she said she'd be at school today. I. Aww. Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. You summed up the information you gained in that other world for Chie. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown no, in there? No, there's a possibility that, they, that she's been thrown in there. We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. Shit, aren't we? She, she's not answering. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh no. Oh, or she might be 
helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's so, it. So should we go to the inn? Even though it's raining outside? I don't feel like getting wet right now. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Damn, she even has a phone number to the on, inn. Nikiko, pick up. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that's reasonable. show up on the midnight channel because they're already over in that world i mean it makes sense right people show up on tv because they're inside the TV. <gasps> look at detective yosuke but yukiko san's still here in our world we might want to see what this is about all right let's meet up at juness after school cool now we get to go to juness again you explain to chie in detail again about what happened last night because Honestly, you didn't do a very good job at explaining it before. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. I mean, you didn't really do anything. I mean, the song was called I'll Face Myself, but you decided that it was fucking nap time, so I had to face yourself. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. And we're just talking very loudly next to a couple right there. Yep. That's what we should do. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I assume so. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. I got it. Come here, Sam. Oh, so they do use that light bulb in this game. I was wondering, because in, like, Ultimax, they have that. And I was wondering where that came from. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? You, you do know what that is, right, Chia? Peekaboo! Try beckoning Teddy over. Oh shit! Something bit you. Ow! What's wrong? This bitch bit me. Not so loud, you idiot! Dude, is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Uh, I think I'm gonna cry. Stupid bear must have done it. Of course. It. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right so, now? So, no one behind us is noticing that there's like a little ripple inside the TV and that there's a voice coming out of it. You know what? That, that, that's not suspicious whatsoever because it could be a TV program. Oh, I get it. Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? Uh, I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko and. Yeah, that'd be the best course of action. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Mm hmm. Yeah, 
You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. I mean, if you don't mind, I can go pick you up at your house, and then we can go to Yukiko's house, and then we can all walk to school together. I think that 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 that's the best course of action right there. All right, you know, Maybe we'll I, find whatever. out more on tonight's midnight channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. Hmm. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Sure. You exchange cell numbers with Yosuke. You know she is right there. We should probably get her number too. Uh, fucking course not. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. Was it really Yukiko who appeared last night? You need to watch the Midnight Channel again tonight. She had long black hair and was wearing a kimono. We literally saw her five minutes ago before we went home. Come on, bruh. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Oh my fucking... <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, moments like these, I just gotta bow my head in disappointment because, again, <laughs> why do you not think that it's already a homicide, bro? Tell me, I want a damn good explanation right now. Well, what else could Thank you. Be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. I don't even know why I said that dumbass shit, bro. Psh, excuse me. I think it must be all the alcohol I've been we drinking recently. Found the cause of death for the first Vic. Now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. Damn. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. I don't know, Danganronpa has proven that uh, people will do some serious shit just to get away. You got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swapped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. Sheesh. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Except he's not dead. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. I can't really make a detective yeah, joke heard about because that angle he's, on the news too. he's an actual detective, so... Yeah. What? Is the story about the inn out already? This surprises me for some reason. Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in here. No! They're from fucking Port Island. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <laughs> Alright, smartass. Well, 
fucked up perp has to be somebody in Enaba. Oh no. Wow. Naiko is absorbed in the quiz show. You should leave her alone. All right. Is there anything else? Nah. Can't be a fat ass today either. That was actually a pretty short day, so let me just save. All right. It's raining through the night again. You should check the midnight channel tonight too. Sure. Hmm. It's raining tonight. Something appear on TV? You bet your ass it will.